Welcome back to the Literature Podcast. I'm Susan. It's a pleasure to be your guide into the remarkable and thrilling genre of science fiction today. Science fiction is a genre that extends our horizon of understanding and pulls us into a universe teeming with endless possibilities. It pushes us to question our reality, envision the possibilities of the future, and challenges us to question the very essence of what it means to be human. As we navigate the landscapes of these often futuristic worlds, we encounter advanced technology that reshapes the societies we know. Imaginary tools of science and technology become prominent players in these narratives, capable of creating utopias or dystopias depending on their use. This genre is a fascinating mix of science, imagination, philosophy, and often a commentary on societal issues. Imagine a world where androids question their existence and humanity, like in Philip K. Dicks to androids dream of electric sheep? In this riveting story, the line between human and machine blurs, leaving us to ponder on the essence of what makes us truly human. Or a universe where the advent of cyberspace and artificial intelligence transcends conventional understanding of consciousness and identity, as presented in Neuromancer by William Gibson. These tales remind us that technology, in its grandeur and promise, can also lead to alienation and disconnect. This alienation can manifest as characters feeling estranged from society or themselves due to the impact of technology, or feeling lost in an increasingly complex world. We see this theme played out in many science fiction works, where characters grapple with the struggle to maintain their humanity in an increasingly automated world. Then there's the thrill of space exploration, the final frontier, as it's often referred to. This theme is prevalent in Arthur C. Clarke's 2001, a space odyssey where we're taken on a thrilling journey across the stars. Here, space exploration serves as a backdrop to explore complex ideas about evolution, technology, and artificial intelligence. It's not just about the journey but about the fundamental questions that it raises about our existence. The genre of science fiction consistently uses these extraordinary scenarios, not just to tell a captivating story, but also to comment on our current societal trends. This is evident in Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, where a seemingly utopian future society is revealed to be a dystopia upon closer inspection. The narrative serves as a critique of consumer culture, a commentary on the loss of individuality, and a cautionary tale about the misuse of technology. This unique blend of narrative storytelling and insightful societal commentary is what makes science fiction a genre worth exploring. It opens up conversations about our future, forcing us to confront the potential consequences of our actions today. The imagined realities of science fiction often reflect our own, holding up a mirror to our society and allowing us to see ourselves from a new perspective. As we delve deeper into this genre, we gain not only a deeper appreciation for the creativity and imagination that goes into crafting these worlds, but also a deeper understanding of our own world. Whether it's through the exploration of advanced technology, the disconnection and alienation of characters, or the thrill of space exploration, science fiction challenges us to think, reflect, and question. In the words of Ray Bradbury, science fiction is the most important literature in the history of the world because it's the history of ideas, the history of our civilization birthing itself. Through science fiction, we not only imagine the future, but we also examine the present, and in doing so, we learn more about ourselves. As we dive into this exploration of science fiction literature today, it's important to remember that we're delving into a genre that reaches far beyond our earthly bounds. In the words of the late, great Arthur C. Clarke, science fiction is something that could happen, but usually you wouldn't want it to. Fantasy is something that couldn't happen, though often you only wish that it could. With that, 
Let's plunge into the galaxies of possibility. Science fiction is a genre that seeks to anticipate and project a future, but it also reflects on our present times. The stories that fall under this category serve as exploratory vehicles for authors to convey their vision of what could be. These tales act as petri dishes for ideas, testing grounds for possibilities. They hold the power to be both prophetic and cautionary, presenting various outcomes that arise from our actions and innovations. One of the most crucial threads that weave together the fabric of science fiction narratives is the element of technology. In these stories, technology often evolves to such an extent that it fundamentally changes societies in how individuals interact with the world around them. The rate of technological advancement, the control or misuse of it, and the ethical questions that arise from its application are all fundamental in these narratives. Think of a world where artificial intelligence has surpassed human intelligence, where machines hold the potential for both creation and destruction. Stories like Isaac Asimov's I, Robot series wrestle with these profound questions and offer glimpses into futures that might be waiting for us. Or consider the world of Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson, where the lines between the virtual and real world blur, leading to a transformation of society and human interaction. Another common theme of science fiction is the feeling of alienation, often brought about by rapid technological advancements. This theme of alienation isn't limited to the sense of being disconnected from society, but it also encompasses a deeper, more existential form of alienation. The characters in these stories often grapple with the fundamental question of what it means to be human in a world that is increasingly mediated and dominated by technology. For instance, in Philip K., Dicks to Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? We see a future where androids are almost indistinguishable from humans, leading to a profound sense of estrangement and questioning of what truly defines us as human. Similarly, in Neuromancer by William Gibson, we see characters grappling with a loss of personal identity as they merge with the digital realm, leading to a radical rethinking of selfhood and consciousness. Now let's turn our eyes skywards to the vast, endless expanse of space, another popular theme in science fiction. From the cosmic horror of H. Lovecraft to the hard sci-fi of Arthur C. Clark's 2001, A Space Odyssey, the exploration of space serves not only as a backdrop for thrilling adventures, but also as a canvas for existential musings. It's in the heart of this infinite void that characters often encounter the alien and unknown, forcing them to confront their fears, hopes, and the very essence of their being. In these narratives, space isn't just a physical realm, but also a psychological one. It's an externalization of the inner psyche, a place where characters face not only alien life forms, but also their deepest fears and desires. This can lead to transformative experiences, often causing characters to question their perceptions and understandings of life, time, and reality. However, science fiction is not only a projection of the future, but also a reflection of the present. These stories, while set in future or alternate realities, often comment on contemporary societal issues. They serve as mirrors showing us the ramifications of our current path and provoke us to think about the kind of future we want to shape. For example, Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451 is not just a story about a dystopian future where books are banned. It's a commentary on censorship, the power of knowledge, and the dangers of a complacent society. Similarly, The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood while set in a dystopian future where women's rights are severely restricted, is a sharp critique of patriarchal societies and a warning against the erosion of women's rights. In conclusion, the genre of science fiction serves as both a telescope and a microscope, letting us explore the outer galaxies while also forcing us to introspect on our inner values. Whether it's the exploration of advanced technology, the depiction of alienation and identity crisis, 
the thrill of space exploration, or the reflection on societal issues, science fiction literature continues to challenge our perceptions, spark our imagination, and push the boundaries of what if. It's not just about fantastic voyages and futuristic technology. It's a reflection of our collective hopes and fears, dreams, and nightmares. As we move forward in this ever-evolving world, science fiction serves as a guiding light, illuminating possible paths, and ensuring we step into the future with our eyes wide open. As we delve further into science fiction, we find ourselves confronted with powerful imagery and concepts that push our understanding of society and ourselves. It encourages us to question, to dream, and to wonder. Science fiction doesn't just predict the future. It shapes it by inspiring scientists, inventors, and thinkers. Consider Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which not only presented readers with an adventure in submarine warfare, but also predicted the advent of the technology itself. Or think about Arthur C. Clarke's concept of geostationary satellites and the stationary orbit, which played a significant role in shaping modern communication systems. In this way, science fiction plays a dual role. It is both a product of its time and a shaper of times to come. Just as science fiction portrays the exciting potential of technological advancements, it also cautions against its misuse. The genre frequently presents dystopian futures where technology is used to control and subjugate, rather than liberate. This dual nature of technology, its potential to either uplift or destroy, is a prominent theme in science fiction. A shining example of this is George Orwell's 1984 where technology is used by a totalitarian government to surveil and manipulate the populace, leading to the erosion of personal privacy and freedom. These dystopian narratives serve as warnings, highlighting the dangers of unchecked technological progress and prompting us to consider the ethical implications of our innovations. Moreover, science fiction often contemplates the ethical and moral dilemmas that come hand in hand with progress. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein is a timeless tale that questions the morality of playing God and messing with the natural order of life. As we forge ahead, creating new technologies like AI and genetic engineering, this tale remains profoundly relevant. One cannot discuss science fiction without acknowledging the fascination with extraterrestrial life. From H. Wells' War of the Worlds to Orson Scott Card's Ender's Game, the exploration of alien civilizations provides a unique platform for authors to examine human nature. By presenting us with beings that are radically different from us, these narratives force us to question what it means to be human and to reflect on our values, biases, and ways of life. While science fiction takes us on journeys across time and space, it ultimately brings us back to ourselves. It's a genre that uses the future to discuss the present using otherworldly scenarios to comment on very real and pressing societal issues. Themes of war, racism, inequality, environmental destruction, and more are frequently explored in these narratives, serving as a critique and reflection of our own world. Finally, it's important to note that science fiction is also a genre of hope. Amid the dystopian worlds and alien invasions, it also presents visions of a better future. Star Trek, for instance, depicts a future where humanity has overcome many of its contemporary problems, like racism and war, and is exploring the cosmos in the spirit of peace and discovery. This optimistic view of the future serves as a beacon of hope an aspiration of what we could achieve if we steer our collective efforts towards progress and unity. Science fiction literature challenges us to think beyond our present circumstances and envision a multitude of possible futures. It encourages us to ask important questions about our society, our morals, and our role in the universe. Whether it makes us uneasy about the path we're on or excited about the possibilities that lie ahead, it never fails to engage us, provoke us, and inspire us. In exploring the future, we uncover new understandings of our present, and in doing so, perhaps, we can better shape the future we're stepping into. 
As we continue our journey through the world of science fiction, let's pause to appreciate the creative genius of countless authors who dared to dream, to envision, and to create worlds beyond our reality. Each narrative is a unique blend of imagination, scientific understanding, societal reflection, and a dash of audacious prediction. These stories inspire us, caution us, and most importantly, they make us think. One of the most compelling aspects of science fiction literature is its ability to make the abstract tangible, to take theories and concepts, and to weave them into narratives that we can not only understand, but feel deeply about. The idea of quantum mechanics, parallel universes, or time travel might seem distant and intangible, but when presented in a well-crafted science fiction story, these concepts suddenly become relatable. A prime example of this is Michael Crichton's Timeline, which takes the complex concept of quantum physics and transforms it into a thrilling narrative about time travel. Or think about the many worlds interpretation in the realm of quantum mechanics, which was ingeniously portrayed in Philip Q. Dix, the man in the high castle. This ability to humanize complex scientific concepts, to weave them into a narrative that touches our hearts and stimulates our minds, is one of the remarkable strengths of science fiction literature. At the heart of the genre, science fiction is a literature of ideas. It's a platform for speculation, for exploration, for asking the question. It's a genre that encourages us to stretch the boundaries of our imagination, to dream, and to think critically about our dreams. It also serves as a social and ethical barometer, reflecting our concerns and hopes for the future. It addresses the societal implications of technological and scientific advancements, explores human values in the face of change, and often asks tough ethical questions. How far is too far in the pursuit of progress? At what point does the cost of advancement become too high? These are the kind of thought, provoking questions that science fiction literature dares us to ponder. In closing, science fiction is a reflection of a human spirit, our curiosity, our fears, and our hope. It serves as a mirror, reflecting our world and our place within it. It's a genre that dares to dream, to imagine, and to speculate, taking us on extraordinary journeys while remaining deeply grounded in human emotions and experiences. As we continue to venture into the future, as we grapple with rapid technological changes and face unprecedented challenges, science fiction remains our companion, providing us with insights, cautionary tales, and visions of hope. It encourages us to be critical, creative, and compassionate as we navigate our ever-evolving world. The future may be uncertain, but with the wisdom gleaned from these narratives, we can step into it with our eyes wide open, armed with the courage to question, to dream, and to shape our destiny. Remember, as Jules Verne said, anything one man can imagine, other men can make real. In science fiction, we find the power to imagine, to predict, and perhaps to shape the future. Let's keep exploring, keep dreaming, and keep reading.